<laughs> What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today is going to be probably my favorite day. Yeah, I think it's the day that both of us have maybe been most excited for. I don't know. Well, if you know us, you know we love food. Especially both of us. <laughs> Especially both of us. We actually know that there's a few of you out there. We have a few foodie followers when we've had a couple comments of people wanting to see the food here in Hungary. So we figured let's do it. Yeah you guys we're gonna go and find some of the best street food, authentic dishes here in the city and we're starting right here behind us at Caravan Street Food Budapest. We are extremely excited about this guys. I am starving to death. It's about 1 p.m. in the afternoon we have not eaten all day because yeah. we have been saving We've been up. saving our tummies for this moment. We've done a little bit of research, tried to find the best we can, so let's get started. I'm ready to eat. Let's get in there. <laughs> I hope I said that right. I asked the guy how to say it and he told me, but I really made him repeat it like 17 times. <laughs> anyway, very traditional Hungarian meal, snack, treat, whatever you want to call this. It is fried dough with sour cream and cheese. And and legend has it that I read, I actually don't know if this is true or not, but I did read, it was invented because there was all these bakers doing their thing, baking things, and then they got really hungry and they didn't want to wait for the dough to rise to actually make like bread. They just were like, what happens if we just fry some dough up and then put some goods on it? And that's where the langosh was invented. Oh, pizza bite. It's Is it good? good. Yeah, it's like a total scone with sour cream and cheese. It's really <laughs> good. Like that fried dough is amazing. That's really good. I feel like we're gonna be full after just eating this. Me too. It's very heavy, but it's really good. We just wrapped up eating the langos. That was delicious. They have a lot more. They do like burgers. This is their billboard back there. They do burgers. They do stuff with other toppings. We got the classics just because we wanted to show you the classic. Well, I feel like we had to try the classic because yeah. the classic is like, well, that's exactly what it is. The classic. It's very traditional Hungarian. Although I will say I was very tempted by the other ones that they had. The burgers look good. But we good. had to try the classic. We're not leaving the caravan street food area yet. There's one other thing we want to try here before we move on. But we do want to get around a little bit, try stuff from different places in the city. So we're going to get one other thing here and then we're going to move on. Although we will say this caravan street food roundup gathering that we're in right now, definitely a one-stop shop if you don't want to go around the city. They literally have like everything that you could ever want here and a lot of it is on our list of things that we wanted to make sure that we tried that's very traditional to Hungary but we really want to move around see more places and I feel like it kind of gives us a reason to explore the city a little bit more. That's true like my grandpa Madsen always tells us after we have dinner at his house if you leave this place still hungry that's your own fault. <laughs> What comes on that? Is it like cinnamon sugar and like cocoa powder? Thank you. Oh, it's hot. The day's not over, but we're starting off with a little bit of the dessert here. We got the chimney cake. This sucker is sweet dough rolled around a drum, then it's cooked over a spit where they just rotate it. And then they cover it in sugar and cinnamon. <laughs> As you can see, it's just hollow in there. This looks like a hollow churro. Oh, it's hot. No, it's perfect. Is it good? It's really good. Definitely kind of crispy, but the, the dough on the inside is much softer than the dough on the outside. You wanna try some? This is a lot more up my alley because it's a sweet treat. I'm much more of a sweet treat gal. Daniel's more of a savory guy. Let's see. So true. <laughs> oh, I think that's really good. I'll probably eat this whole thing. <laughs> it's all yours. It's a lot lighter than I was expecting it was gonna be. Like, I feel like I think I'm gonna bite into this, like, I don't know, dense piece of dough. No, it's not. Yeah, it's like crispy. Mm hmm. That means we could eat more. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. All right, we're leaving Caravan. We still have appetites, but we're off to some cafes to find some more local favorites. Okay, we just sat down at the Drum Cafe Goulash Bar, and what we are getting here is in the name Goulash. <laughs> we were on the hunt for some good goulash, and we heard that this was the place, so here we are. It's not necessarily street food, but it is the Hungarian classic. Thank you. We have 
the very traditional goulash here that we are going to share. And then we saw another thing on the menu that we knew was traditional to Hungary, and it was this stuffed cabbage. And I gotta be honest, I thought that it was going to be like a smaller appetizer. <laughs> it is ginormous. It's like two burritos with I a mean, pizza on top. Yeah, they look like two giant tamales that you order at a Mexican food <laughs> or at a Mexican restaurant. They're huge, but I'm excited to dig in. Here we go. We got a little Mongo Sean here. I'm gonna move him off to the side. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure how I feel about this. There you go. Okay, first bite. That's good. I don't know what this sauce is for. That's literally just a cup of sour cream. They love sour cream and cheese here. Big dairy fans. <laughs> here we have the traditional goulash. <laughs> this is basically a beef stew seasoned with paprika. There we go. You like didn't even give enough time to taste that. It's good. You know, Is it good? Beef, potatoes, other vegetables in there. Mm. Really delicious. The only problem with it, everything we're getting today is like hot food on a very hot day. <laughs> so it's like not satisfying, but it is delicious. It is very good. We're actually both big fans of the stuffed cabbage. It's actually like a rice, pork, meat blend. It's seasoned really well inside these big cabbage leaves. And it's honestly really delicious. Then you put the sour cream on there. It's pretty good. Eat it with a piece of langoush. It's fantastic. All right, just finished up the goulash and the wrapped cabbage. I actually don't know how you say the correct name of that, so I apologize. The goulash, guys, honestly, it wasn't my favorite. I would give it maybe like a five out of 10, and that's kind of being generous. I'm really sorry. But the wrapped cabbage I was very surprised by. I actually thought that was really good. But we are not done yet. We are still on the hunt for more traditional Hungarian food coupled with some yummy street food. to try a very traditional Hungarian strudel, we are told. Apparently, you guys, this is the first strudel house. Ever. Maybe ever, what does that mean, ever? They're made here in Budapest. They look delicious. We got the raspberry curd, which she said is the favorite, the apple, which she said is the most traditional, and then the sour cherry and curd. I have no idea which one this is. That looks like raspberry or sour cherry. Okay, here we go. It looks delicious. That's really good. Which one is it? Raspberry? Definitely raspberry. So the curd is literally cottage cheese. And this might be my new favorite thing. This is really good. Is it that good? Mm -hmm. Going in from the other end, what do we got? Apple. Apple. These are delicious. Is it good? Yeah. So the apple has no curd. It's just little slivers of apple. I really want to try a curdy one. <laughs> That's really good. Okay, we couldn't do a Hungarian street food tour without coming to the incredible Central Market Hall. This place is insane. They don't just sell like produce and groceries, they sell like everything. They've got restaurants upstairs, they sell like clothing, suvies, knickknacks, all sorts of stuff. I think my favorite part honestly though is the building that this is in. I don't know if this was like an old train station, I don't know what it is, but this is the coolest building ever. We're gonna go find some traditional Hungarian food here in the Central Market Hall. Guys, I'm I'm already stuck. We're sweating. I'm like dewy here. It is a hot day and Hungarians love their hot fried dairy filled food. <laughs> <laughs> and we are feeling full. So let's go explore this place. For the grand finale, <laughs> we have the massive but long Hungarian kielbasa hot dog. This thing is stacked. We got lettuce, tomato, cucumber, onion, cheese, tons of sauces, and the massive. Oh, <laughs> careful, don't drop it. This probably looks like Shell's nightmare, but I'm <laughs> kind of excited. This one is all you, babe. It's all you. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Let's try it. You think you're gonna get through that with the little plastic fork and knife there? I don't know how to eat this. Should I like pick it up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want you to. Fill it on your white shirt. I'm already getting mustard everywhere. Right? <laughs> 
Well, how is it? I think that's the biggest hot dog I've ever seen in my life. This thing is huge. All right, it looks like Daniel has done some damage Just here, you guys. Barely. <laughs> Just barely. This thing is massive. This is a lot more up Daniel's aisle. I'm a little nervous about this one. I feel like I have to obviously give it a try. I don't know how to eat it other than with a fork and knife. I feel like I'm eating a salad. Basically, it's a salad. Basically it turned into a hot dog salad. Yeah, it's a hot dog salad. Okay, here we go. I've gotta get a little bit of every bite here. Tomato. It's all yummy. You gotta get a little bit of everything. Tomato. Gotta get the sausage. Here's my bite. Oh, let's get a little bit of onion. Okay. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's actually good. Honestly, that's good. I mean, it's literally a hot dog salad. Could also feed a family of four. Uh, Maybe yeah. five. Now I gotta try some bread. The bread's usually my favorite part. Speaking of bread, look what's down there. That's where I want to go next. <laughs> what would you rate the world's most massive hot dog here? Out of 10, I don't know. I'd probably give it a five or a six. Five or a six, okay, okay. It's good, but it's not like fantastic. Didn't I think the size is mind. more of a novelty. I think maybe the size blew your mind a little bit more than the flavor. The size got me extremely excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I'm tapped out though. I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> I think you did really good. I mean, that thing was ginormous. Guys, we ate a lot of hot foods today. Not spicy, just hot in temperature. Yeah, hot temperature fried heavy foods on a really hot day. Yeah, we've been melting and then putting all this hot food in us and I think I'm done for the day. <laughs> Time to go get some ice cream and a cold beverage. Yeah. Now I want to get some fruit, maybe, to kind of balance things out a little bit. <laughs> really, we need vegetables. We are coming to the end of this Hungarian street food tour. And our bellies are full. Yeah. <laughs> Very it, full. Maybe coming a little later than it should have, but <laughs> we've eaten a ton today. It's all been very good. Some things were not our favorites. I would say if I had to pick my favorite thing out of the day, it was the langosh right at the beginning. I agree. I actually feel like that was my favorite thing too. And second was maybe the stuffed cabbage. I don't know. The, the, the strudel was, was really good and the chimney cake was really good. I'm excited about what you got right here. Yeah, me too. That might actually win. Raspberries. Fresh raspberries, I think fresh from, raspberries the market. from the Hungarian market are going to be my favorite. Guys, comment down below. What was your favorite food that you saw today? If you don't know the name of it, just describe it. We'll know what you're talking about. We want to know. Yeah, we want to hear from you what looked the most appetizing. And we also want to know have any of you tried any of the items that we have eaten today? Let us know in the comments. Guys, this has been fun. We hope you enjoyed it. Good to see a little bit of the food of the area, a lot of the food of the area. Thank Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you all so much. Make sure you come back for our next video. We're going to be taking you around this incredible city and seeing some really cool things. You guys don't want to miss it. We'll see you then. See everybody.